If you apply a color or a background to an element containing text, you'll notice that the text goes right up to the edge of a box. To make sure that the text fits better in a box, we use padding. This will tell the code how much space there is in pixels on the top, right, bottom and left of the box. We can also add in margins. Margins will act as a buffer between each element. For example, you might want three squares next to each other with a little gap in between. To do this, you would insert margins. You can also add a border around each of your elements. You can edit the width of the border, the color, and the style. In this case, the style means things like a solid line, a dashed line, a dotted line, or a double line. We are going to add margins, borders, and padding into our website to make things stand out. This will add some clear divisions between each div and make sure that all elements within a div begin to look nice. As you work through the activity in the workbook, make sure that you apply it to all divs. If you miss one, things might not look good together. You'll need to do this for all margins, all borders, and all padding. Once again, once you've finished, save your changes and check how it all looks in the default browser.